Now let's assess the Achilles tendon. Think about the tendon to begin with though. It's the strongest and longest tendon in the human body and it can withstand forces of up to 1100 pounds. The tendon itself is formed, uh, it's a co-joint tendon, meaning that it's a combination of the two gastrocnemius muscles, the deeper soleus muscle, they come together and they taper down to form the Achilles tendon here. And when we think about the mechanics of the lower extremity, Basically, when you activate those muscles and plant or flex the foot in toe off or push off during gait, that force is being transmitted through that Achilles tendon. If we think of the fascial connections, the gastrocnemius and soleus and the hamstrings actually connect to each other. There's an interwoven uh, type of connection back of the knee. And if we follow that up, we can even think of the gluteal muscles because statistically with ankle sprains, there's usually an altered firing pattern in the glutes. And if the glutes aren't firing properly, that load will be transferred to the hamstrings. As the hamstrings contract and tighten, they're going to affect the gastrocnemius muscles and the soleus indirectly, which will cascade down into altered mechanics in that Achilles tendon. So always think of that kinetic chain. No matter what the injury is, you always have to think above and below and what other structures may be affected. Now to assess the Achilles tendon, we're gonna start off with just a visual inspection. We're looking, you know, is there any swelling, bruising, any visible defects? And we're going right into palpation. So we're gonna start visualizing where those calf muscles meet. We're gonna to start to palpate the length of the tendon from both sides. And as we get down towards the calcaneus, just about where it inserts, we're gonna look for any tenderness on either side. This could be an indication of bursitis. Now the second test would be a calf squeeze. So having palpated the tendon, now we're actually gonna squeeze the musculature of the calf and we should see the foot plantar flex. And that is telling us that that tendinous connection is intact. If this were to be diminished or decreased, we would think potentially a rupture or some type of complex tear. Now a note to make here is that there's really poor blood supply to the tendon. And that's one of the primary factors of why it's such a difficult area to rehabilitate and treat. And if it's not addressed properly, this is one of those injuries that can come back and recur and cause further problems down the road. So it's essential that you really take your time assessing this and once again, compare the two sides to make sure of any defects or possible injury.